Gotcha. Can you can you talk a little bit about size of tumor that is appropriate for radio surgery? So we've had a couple questions about what um, defines a small tumor versus a medium tumor versus a large tumor, and then what is the cutoff as far as um, you know where radio surgery can be effective? Yeah, I think in in my training at Columbia, and like I said, my mentor at Columbia did a, a big study that I, I wasn't directly involved in, but we took care of some of the patients. Very good analysis where the cutoff for me and my practice is about 2.2 centimeters. Now that's also, there's give and take there. You can do three centimeter ones with gamma knife and you can say that there's a 1.5 centimeter one that I wouldn't use gamma knife for. But in general, you get a pretty good response, meaning no growth or good growth control. Uh, over 90% growth control if you're 2.2 centimeters or less. So that to me defines a rough cutoff. But within that, there are some people where I'd say, well, if you're 2.5 and really too sick to undergo surgery, I would definitely try again. And I, I might fractionate that one. You know, you might start to move into maybe I'll do that in three fractions, get a little more of a dose in there. But if you have even a smaller than 2.2 centimeter mass, it could be smaller, but pressing on your trigeminal nerve and giving mm -hmm. you trigeminal neuralgia or numbness, those I would say, well, I can't necessarily, I got to get the pressure off the trigeminal nerve. And the only way I can do that is with an operation. So although it meets the 2.2 centimeter rough cutoff, it's, it's causing cranial nerve issues because it's sitting on something. And the best way for me to get, you know, that pressure off of the nerve that's symptomatic is to physically go in and move it because the gamma knife might not shrink it. So 2.2 centimeters is a short answer, but there's a bunch of caveats around that. Okay. 